Item number, SCP-565. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-565 is kept in a Type 3 aquatic object containment tank on Level 4B of Site-77. It is fed twice daily and tested weekly for development or degradation of mental capacity. Staff who are so inclined may view SCP-565 during its scheduled feeding times by appointment with Dr. Schaefer. Description SCP-565 is an ambulatory human head, apparently male, which appears to mimic the behavioral patterns of Carpilius convexus, a species of coral crab. Its chief method of ambulation is the manipulation of tendrils of unfurled brain matter which emanate from a large crush wound at the back of its skull. These tendrils are often utilized as legs, allowing SCP-565 to scuttle along the sea floor like a crab, but occasionally are operated for motion and manipulation in a manner similar to the tentacles of an octopus or jellyfish. To date, Foundation research has proven inconclusive on how and why SCP-565 remains animate or how it is able to manipulate neural tissue in a manner suggestive of musculature. Testing is ongoing, but data expunged. Researchers who wish to contribute work or theory to the investigation of SCP-565 should contact Dr. Schaefer through the usual channels for an appointment and transfer interview. SCP-565 was caught by a fishing trawler called Saturday's Child off the coast of interviewed Captain and was informed that SCP-565 had been sighted several times by local fishermen and was apparently living as part of a crab colony in the area's reefs. Video footage taken by one such fisherman shows SCP-565 feeding on a dead clownfish. SCP-565 is not immune to the harmful effects of exposure to a watery environment and has continued to decay as is normal for dead tissue. It is estimated that SCP-565's decay will have advanced sufficiently to neutralize it within Addendum 565-1 Forensics testing has linked SCP-565 conclusively to the DNA and dental records of Edward Beltram, deceased 1228 approximately two years before the first known sighting of SCP-565. Beltram was murdered by his wife Rebecca by strychnine poisoning and blunt force trauma to the back of the head, with description of the murder wound matching the wound through which the exposed cranial matter of SCP-565 protrudes. Dr. Schaefer has proposed that Beltram's body be exhumed for analysis. Addendum 565-2 Edward Beltram was exhumed by Foundation researchers on date expunged. The corpse had been beheaded with wounds suggesting the head had been torn from the shoulders with extreme force rather than cut. Photographs taken by bereaved family members at Beltram's funeral show that the corpse's head was still attached at the time of burial and the gravesite showed no evidence of having been disturbed. Beltram's corpse was retained for study and his grave restored with a substitute as per standard foundation empty casket protocols. Addendum 565-3 Data expunged. Task Force Psi-8 stationed on site reported no activity. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-564, Incomplete Primitive Cyborg, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.